Ian Kinsler. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. I'm surprised we're seeing so many late swings on fastballs. If there's one rule of thumb in the game, get to the heat. Trace Thompson is into the game as a defensive replacement now as he takes over in right. Right field, number 78, Trace Thompson. And there's a swing and a miss as Kinsler's down quickly now, 0-2. Now here's the pitch. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Another 0 2 home. And it's fouled away. The next 0 2. And he fouls this one off. Here's another 0 2. A ball and two strikes now. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. Swing and a little tapper. That's a foul ball. The 2 2. Fouled away. Two two one more time pulled high in the air out to left field Hicks is under it one out better fielder number 27 digging in now Mike Trout is working on a one for three thus far. Answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. From the stretch. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. Counts even to Trout one and one. This is one of those classic cases of the right guy at the right spot. They need to get a rally going and this is maybe their best hitter so he's the right guy in the right spot for this team right now. And he pumps the fastball by him here one and two now. One and two. The one two. Is swung on and missed. He got him. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys on this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and it backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far.
first pitch on its way to Upton. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Two out, nobody on. In there, strike two. Canely is exactly what you want out of a bullpen arm. It's a rare occasion that anyone squares him up. He doesn't give up a lot of hits, and when he does, they're almost always kept in the yard. Matty V, there are two keys to be. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Angels go down one, two, three. Need to get it going soon. It's five nothing. Back now with the big A as we get a look there at the great city of Los Angeles. Ninth Lincoln. inning set to begin. Ken and Middleton enters from Number the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Digging in to try it again. Ronald Torres. Second baseman. Ready. Here's the first offering. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Line drive to center field. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. The ninth inning's underway with a leadoff man aboard via the single. Hey, zero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, you'll take three for four every day of the week. Yeah, in today's day and age, Dan, where everything's a homer, a walk, or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. Into the box, Aaron Hicks. As he'll take a changeup here for strike one. Winging strike and now it's 0 and 2. It's amazing. I tell so many fans you get in a box one time the one pitch you're going to swing at more than any other is that elevated fastball. Your eyes light up as an offensive player and you just cannot get to it. Here it comes on nothing and two. Half swing that time they'll appeal it down to third. No swing says Gary Simmons it's ball one. The one two is laid off for ball two. There's a swing and a high pop up. Valbuena is there, makes the play one away. Stepping up to the plate, Brett Gardner. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Fly ball right down the line and left. Upton on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now with the plate, Gary Sanchez. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Now the 0 1. I just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0 and 2 now. Strike three, so we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead. As this one left for the Yankees, but they hold a five nothing lead. Digging in, Zach Kozar. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out, and over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching.
and he misses with it one and one. a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. That's two and two. As long as you actually get it inside, that two-seam fastball running towards the hands is a really good pitch. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. I'll tell you, it's hard to get more of a confidence boost than striking out the best hitters in the lineup back to back to back. He's looking really sharp right now. Stepping in, Luis Valbuena. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Bases are empty. One man out. Nope. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Don't kid yourself. He's well aware that he has the hat trick right now. And after that swinging strike, he's looking at the golden sombrero. The one two. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Next one two pitch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Driven to deep right field. Thompson looks up. Gone! A solo shot here to straight away right field. Fourth home run for him on the season. As they get on the scoreboard here, it's 5-1. to one. Guys, we've seen four big balls between the two teams so far today. What are your impressions of the long ball display we're watching? Matty V, this is just one of those days where the ball seems to be flying, Nero. The hitters on point, the pitchers aren't making very good pitches. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's all about executing pitches, and they're not doing it today. They're leaving a lot of balls over the heart of the plate. And this offense, is, both offenses, are taking advantage. Throw on to first is in time, and the Angels are now down to their final out. Right Into the box now, Cole Calhoun. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. You go down 0 2 to a guy with this type of arsenal. Man, you got to step out of the box, clear your head, and just fight. And this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and that'll hold the count at 0 and 2. Angels down to their last strike. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Holy cow, there it is. They've racked up 27 wins in a row, breaking the all-time streak set by the Giants in 1916. I'm speechless, really. Truly an historic occasion. I'm just honored to be here. Tonight's game comes to an end. 5-1, to one, the final score. The New York Yankees used a three-run seventh to help propel them to the win. Masahiro Tanaka earned his fifth win of the year as he racked up ten strikeouts in the effort. Shohei Otani pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa, Dan Plesak, and the entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Have a good night, everybody. Our final